everyone. So for this project, I built a speaker cooler. So I took a 120 quart igloo cooler, painted it, put a big battery in it, added a bunch of speakers and an amp and uh, some other things. So I want to show you what I did. All right, so there's the finished product. It's black and yellow because I'm a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So here's the uh, there's the back of it. So there you go. This was a big white igloo cooler, 120 quart igloo cooler that I bought from Walmart, and I painted it black and yellow. Took a bunch of the parts off of the cooler, painted it. Um, I'll show you the inside first. So there we go. So it's got a cooler on this side, cooler on that side. In the middle, I have a big marine battery. Um, yeah, it's a big marine battery. The thing will run for days without needing to be recharged so you can see it's it's right now at 12.2 amps it's a 12 or 12.2 volts it's a 12 volt battery and it's uh it's been running for about a day and a half at about 80 percent power 70 percent power and it's still at 12 volts so it's good for the length of time so here's what i have i bought a real cheap head unit off of eBay I bought a four pack of six and a half inch speakers off of eBay those are Rockville um, speakers I, I didn't want to get too expensive so I went with some marine speakers that are I think their um, RMS ratings a hundred watts so they're not crazy loud but plenty loud for the beach which is what I wanted them for I didn't want the speakers to go through the the inside of the cooler, so I printed these these spacers on my 3D printer. Um, I went to Thingiverse and found someone who had already created some, and I found the spacers and modified them a little bit and printed those out. Each one took about 10 to 12 hours to print, so printed them out. I printed them in yellow plastic but then I actually painted them the same color as the rest of the cooler so they matched exactly so that's what I got going on there I took um, I had to drill or I had to use a router behind the speakers because these are these are about two in, an inch and three-fourths thick I believe um, and the speakers are about three and a half inches so I had to go into the edge of the cooler and I wanted to go as deep into the wall of the cooler as possible without poking through so I took a router and um, routed out a hole the width of the, the the magnet of the speaker so I could sink them in there and then I just put some screws into the side of it so it would hold it and then I put black caulk um, behind the ring and in front of the ring the spacer to uh, keep it watertight but they're marine grade anyway, so I think they'd be okay, but I didn't want any water going in behind the spacers. So I, I put caulk around those also. And then I drilled a hole from, from this hole uh, into this hole. And then behind here, I drilled a hole going into the, um, the inside of the cooler. So then you can see maybe that now you can't really see but underneath the head unit the speaker wires come in and then they route through and go up through this little piece of uh, conduit here and go into the amp so while I'm talking about the amp this is also a Rockville amp which apparently Rockville makes pretty good amps so this is a 2400 watt amp um, got that off of eBay also I'm coming out of the head unit with two sets of RCA cables that go into the back of the head unit. Uh, it gets kind of hot, so I don't know if you can tell those fans are spinning, but I, I cut little wood spacers 
um, secure those to the lid of the cooler and then secure the fans um, so they're blowing air this direction and they go across the the amp and then the the fans plug into this USB port which is on this uh, inverter this 400 watt inverter that I picked up from Walmart so um, you can plug in two regular household um, sockets right there it's got two USB ports so that works pretty well it also tells me what's up with the voltage um, so this this shows I've got I can't really see it but this shows I got 12 volts this shows 12.2 volts um, but anyway it's close enough so yeah that's that's the amp this thing right here is the power or the controller for the solar panel so on top of the cooler the solar panel and I, I built a wooden frame all the way around it I've got three slats of wood underneath of it and so this is secured to the top of the cooler I drilled a hole through the through the lid of the cooler and it comes out right there and then that wires down through connects to connects to the controller and then the power goes into there all right so um for the cooler sections um th there's already a plug a drain plug built into that side I, I have to install the drain plug on this side but i took this what is that two inch foams like construction foam so i cut that um, to size took a cardboard a sheet of cardboard and cut the template and then cut out these things with the jigsaw and then I, I got this um, waterproof construction board which is about an eighth of an inch thick and put I glued that with um, with uh, caulk white caulk so that's glued to the to the foam um, glued down there I took little L brackets and put four of them in there to keep just in case the battery moves around that'll keep the the dividers nice and tight and then I just caulked over top of everything so this this side of the cooler actually works as a cooler this side also works as a cooler so I figure we'll put beverages in this side food in that side or whatever um, this is some wood I picked up from Lowe's it's it's white on this side and black on that side it was like eight bucks for the sheet and I cut it to fit and then just put a couple hinges on there um, and then there's a little chain right here to keep the lid from flopping over the other thing I'm going to install I have a battery charger and that's going to go right here and then I have a port that's going to stick out the back of the cooler so you just plug the um, plug the, the cable into the port from the outside and it'll run the um, run the battery charger so I think that's everything on the inside then on the outside the wheels I picked up a a garden cart from Lowe's all I wanted was the frame and the wheels so there was a plastic kind of a tub that came with the cart so I got rid of the got rid of the tub and just kept all the kept the frame and the wheels and then I took stainless steel bolts and went down through the top of the um, the uh, the inside of the cooler and there are holes already drilled into the frame that were supposed to hold the tub of the cart but instead I used it to hold the, the top of the cooler and it's got a got a handle right here that flips up and connects right there so it doesn't fall down and then the head unit it's a real inexpensive head unit but the amp is decent so I wasn't worried about the quality of the head unit so you can see it's got um, you can change the balance the fade it's got different um, equalizers I, f I figured I found out that the rock equalizer seems to have the best level of bass I keep loud off because the amp takes care of that you can adjust the clock and the music is paused right now 
but I have, I have this little old tablet um, that runs off of Bluetooth. So let's see what I got queued up here. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being a Snoop Dogg double G. But All right. Anyway. So it's got actually really good sound. I just wanted this thing for the beach. Um, so mission accomplished. I'm, pr I'm actually really happy with it. I've made a lot of projects and this is one of my favorites. Oh, so I also took, I wanted the wheels to match the color of the rest of the cooler, the hubs of the wheels. Uh, and I couldn't find anyone that would mix the paint for me for a decent amount of money. So I just took an extra can of spray paint that I got from Walmart and just sprayed an entire can of paint into a little cup and then took a paintbrush and painted the wheels um, from the spray paint that came out of the can into the cup and then I got these little um, valve covers off of off of uh, Amazon I believe they were like two bucks for all four of them so this little yellow uh, chrome valve covers yes yeah, so I think that's it everything latches down it's completely waterproof um, the the solar panel charges very slowly but it does keep a trickle charge going into the battery and like I said I've, I've had this thing running for days at a time without having to recharge it so there you go Hope you all have some ideas on how to build your own and that I can give you some ideas to uh, how to get things started. If you have any questions, let me know.